Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about stereotypes again, but instead of talking about Italians, today we're talking about Americans and the stereotypes that Italians have towards Americans and actually Europeans in general have towards Americans. I think the whole dang world has these stereotypes against us. America. America. I'm not gonna front. Stereotypes do usually come from stats. They usually come from a place of truth. It's not nice or technically accurate to say that all Italians eat is pizza and pasta, but do Italians love them some pizza and pasta and do they eat pasta often? You guys know you do. But I think that our bigger issue, apart from stereotyping people in the first place, is that we never really want to recognize where these stereotypes come from. And I think that if people took the time to understand where stereotypes come from, why things are the way they are, we would understand each other a lot more, get along a lot better because we understand each other, and solve the problems that cause stereotypes a lot faster because we're able to, you know, identify them and acknowledge them. And if the stereotype is a good stereotype, I don't know, maybe we can exploit said stereotype and replicate it. Identifying the cultural reasonings behind stereotypes I think is really important and so that's what I'm gonna try to do today for my own people. Americans. So the first stereotype that a lot of Europeans seem to have about us Americans, especially Italians, Italians love to bring this up, is that Americans are apparently all fat and in love with junk food and we eat junk food every single day. Coca-Cola, hamburgers, McDonald's, Burger King, that's it. Okay guys, slow your roll. No, it's not true that all Americans eat junk food every single day. I mean, have you ever seen Super Size Me? And who made that? Italians or Americans? I don't think Americans want to be unhealthy. I think the biggest issue in America, it all comes down to money and income. A lot of these things are gonna come down to money and income. In America, there's a lot of income inequality. This means that while we do have a lot of very extremely rich people, people that own private islands, private jets, things that you wouldn't even be able to imagine. We also have a lot of poor people, abject poverty. I'm talking about whole neighborhoods in America, whole cities in America that don't even have access to clean drinking water, okay? In Europe, there's a lot less income inequality. Of course, you have Italian millionaires, and of course, you have people living in poverty in Italy, but in general, Italians tend to make the same. Rich people get taxed so much that it's really hard to become rich here. And since there are a lot of social benefits, I'm talking like deductions for school, free healthcare, I mean, there's not as much pressure on poor people in Europe as there are in America. That being said, people have less disposable income in America. And unfortunately in America, healthy food is a thing for rich people. Unlike in Europe, in America, fruits and vegetables and healthy food options cost more than junk food options. In Europe, you can go with $10 to the grocery store, especially in Italy, because Italy has lower prices than even other places in Europe. You can go to the grocery store with 10 euros and walk out with a basket of fruits and vegetables. In America, fruits and vegetables are pretty expensive from the supermarket. Fast food and junk food also cost 10 euros. Like if you wanna get like three boxes of cookies, that's 10 euros right there. Um, in America, all of the unhealthy options tend to be really cheap, whereas the healthier options are not. So given that we have so many poor people, given that healthy food is so expensive, it's not a surprise that a lot of Americans have poor food habits or eat junk food more often because it's the cheaper choice. Not to mention uh, all these big fast food corporations have a lot more presence in America. They create a lot of jobs that really involves in our communities. And so it's gonna be easier for them to push their whatever they want us to be eating down our throat. And don't even get me started on the food lobbies that literally like pay our government to give us unhealthy food. Whereas in Europe, you guys have super high food quality standards. You guys have access to really good quality food at really low prices. We in America just don't have these things. That's probably why it's no huge shock that Americans have an obesity problem. Another stereotype that you Europeans have about us is that we're all ignorant um, and dumb. It's not that all Americans are ignorant and dumb. It's just that our government, I'm, I must, I'm going all out today, aren't I? Our government has proven time and time again that they don't give a damn about our education. And just like many other things, education is a privilege for the rich. If you wanna go to a really good school, 
Either you better be a star athlete or you better be rich if you wanna pay for it. And you don't see this disparity just in colleges. This is the most obvious one that a lot of people know about that I talk about on my channel all the time. But you see this also in primary education too and high school education too. Like if you live in a rich state, you're gonna have a better education. And these rich states all tend to be concentrated in like the Northeast, the Midwest. Poor states tend to be in the South. Not only this, but even within states, you'll have that rich counties, rich neighborhoods have access to better schools, poor counties have access to poorer schools. Didn't I just talk about how many poor people there are in America? Mm -mm -mm. You put two and two together. In America, unlike in Italy and other European countries, education is chosen by states. So you can have somebody that's going to school in New York that'll be studying something completely different or in a completely different way than somebody that's going to school in Texas. That doesn't happen in Italy. There's a national curriculum that everybody has to follow and it's actually pretty rigorous. And the way we're taught about things is taught in a very Americentric way. We think of America first. And so I do feel like Americans tend to kind of live in this bubble that unless they consciously try to pop and try to look outside, we're not going to really know a lot about what's going on inside the world outside of an American context. I hope this makes sense. Are all Americans ignorant? No, I don't think I'm ignorant and I'm a one, I'm a product of the American school system, but our education system has many flaws, which causes a lot of people to fall through the cracks. Another stereotype, us Americans, especially girls, being easier. I've talked about this before in my dating in Italy versus USA video in America. I don't feel like there's this social stress to not date or to stick with one person for a long time because we just have different cultures, different expectations. Our ideal age to get married is a lot younger than Italy. What you should have done as a 27 year old in America is a lot different than what is expected of you as a 27 year old in Italy. By the time you're 30, a lot of people in Americans would think that's you should be married by then. I mean, of course there are people that aren't married by their 30, but the average age of getting married in America is around 27. That being said, given that we get married younger, we also have this idea that before you get married, you should really test out the waters, date a lot of people so you can know what kind of people you like, who you wanna be with, and also by the time you get married at 27, you don't regret the fact that you've only ever been with one person, I don't know. So I think that just comes down to different cultures. Yeah, you're gonna find that an American girl will probably respond to your pickups more easily than maybe an Italian girl, because for us, there is just less social stress to not do it. And not to mention, you guys are exotic for us. You guys have accents, and you guys tend to be, for some reason, more romantic than American guys, so yeah, we respond bond more if you want to call that easy it is what it is but i don't think american girls are easy last stereotype that you guys seem to have is that we are super patriotic and there's not really much i can refute about that i remember going to elementary school and learning all these patriotic songs i know so many patriotic songs by heart because they were just we, we just sang them there was a choir concert you knew that you were gonna sing like it's a grand old flag, my country tis of thee. Uh, from the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee. To be living here today, cause the flag still stands for freedom, and they can't take that away. And the proud to be an American, well, at least I know I'm free. From first grade to high school where we're there saying the Pledge of Allegiance every day in class. There are commercials and recruiters trying to sign people up to die for their country. According to the American na narrative, America came in and saved the day. According to American narrative, America is the rightful police officer of the world and the savior of everybody. Is this the right narrative? No. Nationalism can be very dangerous. We're seeing really all of the cons of it right now in America, but I guess that's another story for another video. The stereotype of Americans being patriotic, I guess is pretty true. Is it 100% negative? I'm not sure, because I do have to say that aside from the whole black thing within America, I've never had the kind of inferiority complex that I do get a little bit from 
some Europeans, especially Italians. But as I said before, nationalism usually doesn't lead to good things. And I also feel like the nationalism contributes to that American ignorance. So there you have it, you guys. What I feel are the top stereotypes about Americans in Europe especially in Italy, explained and kind of thought about in a deeper, I hope, manner. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you have anything to add? I know you want to let me know, so go right ahead. Just a little thing. I'm leaving a link in the comments, as I usually do, for you guys to add subtitles to my videos if you want to, especially Italian ones. Um, some people out there seem to need them. And I unfortunately don't have time to add them right now. I'm working a full-time job and in addition to like trying to produce quality videos regularly on this channel, also adding subtitles for to them is just not something I can possibly do. So if you guys could kindly help me out with the Italian subtitles, leave in the link below. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah.